when old world Tartarian architecture meets new world demolition crews. Hello, fellow truth seekers. Let's talk about old world Tartarian architecture, in particular this castle-like building that was located in downtown Buffalo, New York. It was called the Erie County Savings Building. According to Wikipedia, the building was completed in 1893 to serve as the headquarters of the Erie County Savings Bank. Now of course I cannot prove otherwise, but I am not the only one who thinks this could very well be an old world building simply repurposed as a bank in 1893. This more or less is an actual castle with remnants of possible antique we tech. The ground floor looks somewhat disproportionate to the rest of the building. Could this be a sign of mud flood I wonder? A theory backed up by the somewhat stubby looking cathedral next to it which could also very well be an old world building. Wikipedia also states that Thomas Edison served as the consulting engineer in charge of electrical installation. <laughs> Or maybe Thomas Edison was in charge of removing any signs of antique we tech and installing some new world direct current. To think that a bank would build a castle in 1893 seems ridiculous. This building does not fit the purpose of a bank. To try to be fair and impartial I will say that the building looks in good condition and you could say apart from the style of architecture it looks new. However a new looking aesthetic can be easily achieved with a fresh lick of paint and other basic repairs. I cannot find a single image or photo of the construction of this amazing building despite it apparently being built as late as 1893. With all that being said the point of this video is to emphasize how well built and difficult to destroy this building was. The following are excerpts from articles written by Ellen Tosik who was a reporter for the Buffalo Evening News for 25 years. She observed the wave of demolitions which occurred in the name of urban renewal, and very fittingly she describes the demolition in 1968 of the Erie County Savings Building in the form of a eulogy. She refers to the building as the Buffalo Duchess. Every evening, for more than three months, a battle was fought in Shelton Square, between her and two cavernous cranes. The latter attacked with two primitive means of offense, a pair of jaws and a rock, or in modern wreckers parlance, a clam bucket and a busting ball. The former weighed in at three tons, the latter at three and a half. The fight was one of the toughest in veteran wreckers' memory. For a wrecker to admit resistance is like a weightlifter confessing his muscles are getting flabby. It began at 4.30 in the afternoon and continued through 7.30 the next morning five days a week. A crowd of variable size would gather to see the kill. It was the show of the town. Whole families arrived in station wagons from the suburbs. When the crane operations of the 25-man demolition crew began to munch at the building, however, it was evident that plans and reality did not agree. The roof with its turrets and gargoyles and finials was the toughest. A finial lifted and tacked like a birthday candle to the ground measured three and a half feet high and weighed an estimated 600 pounds, not to mention the cones on the towers which looked like cake frosting aloft, but on the ground measured 20 feet high and 15 feet across. Cast iron and steel, as the wrecking progressed, scores of 200-pound red granite carved images, five feet thick, set in the walls around the crest of the building came tumbling down, their carnival faces of joy and sorrow biting the dust. The very stones of the building were resistant. The walls, which tapered from nine feet at the base up to three feet, were composed of foot-thick red granite stones weighing up to three tons each. Interlocked, they had to be lifted out like lumps of sugar, piece by piece. They did not sound like sugar when they dropped. This eulogy gives you some idea of how well this building was made. It took them three months to demolish it. Hundreds of Buffalonians asked why. Destroy such a building. They got numerous answers such as, the tile is crumbling. Valuable space wasted owing to turrets and odd corners. The plumbing is vintage. Thomas Edison helped plan the electrical system, but today it's inadequate. This is the monstrosity they replaced it with. So what do you think? Of course I can't be sure, but could this be an example of old world Tartarian architecture being repurposed in 1893 and then destroyed in 1968 to be replaced with brutal garbage? Let me know in the comments. That is all.